Here I go, pigeon toe to the featherweight fight. And just before they knocked me down, did you put a horseshoe in my glove? Here I stand with a face like somebody died. When you're ignoring me, you kind of go from one little comfort zone to another, and so I found myself like. Having climbed this personal mountain, being able to get up on stage, sing songs, but I kind of kept my um, ambition really small because that's just kind of my default setting. You're going to miss this place when you leave. Maybe a wee, a wee bit, yeah. Especially as some days it's been like being at rock school, <sighs> hasn't it? Mm. Like we've started off with a kind of rough idea, and then by the end of it, it's like. Oh, that's how you do it. Minutely yeah. kind of control each little yeah. thing. Yeah. But not in a really big difference way, like that was more. I mean like in a kind of like a... in a kind of like fine-tuning way that would never occur to... well, me, certainly. It's hard, isn't it, when you like rehearse just for like a show or something? <coughs> and you just like, oh, it got to the end of the song. Brilliant. Yeah. Exactly what I think Let's just keep on doing the same thing. Yeah, if we get to parts. the end of the song, we're totally winning. Yeah, run out of song. Here I go, pigeon toe to the great divide. It's like the same old story. How I kind of gone out of my way not to go into proper recording studios before, and uh, and somehow got to this stage and and then thought and thought this was really the best. This is really the best thing to do just now. But well, you got your maracas out yesterday. It's because you just had a taco. That's where you get all spicy. I'm older now and I feel the same So from, from four and a half years ago I'm, I'm quite a different person to then in terms of just learning you know how to be. Um, this, this collection of songs is completely a reflection of that. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah. Have you been an adult baby? Yes. You're sick. Well, the thing is, we're all adult babies, aren't we? And we're all looking I'm for a mummy. No, I'm not. There's a guest vocalist who features on a lot of the songs. It's, it's a, a lady called Pam Berry. She played in a band called Black Tambourine about, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago now. And I kind of got infatuated with this band, like after the fact. And then kind of got in touch with each other. And I knew I had a song called Black Tambourine. And then you fast forward a year, and I'm in Iceland playing gigs with Pam Berry in the band. Great. Loads of enthusiasm. Hey! Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! Hey! Here it comes. I got the only big song that's good. If it sounds much used, I guess the way I'm a mustache kind of reminded you of you. No particular time, some European town. And I've got people who I 
admire from musical past. Eugene Kelly from the Vaselines, he's playing on a song on this record. There's my friend Benny, he's, he lives in Iceland, he recorded his harmonium parts in Reykjavik and sent them to me. There's Scott from Frightened Rabbit and and the same with Kenny, he's a me it's kind of at, for a long time been a friend and in my mind a kind of mentor to me, Kenny Anderson, King So he's singing on a few songs. I tried to do what I could the gilded palace of sin And you the king of Hollywood These people in some small way have been like just just holding one finger you know and just pulling me along a little bit. To me it feels like I wouldn't be on this path if it wasn't for you guys Here we go, here we go now Is this a sunset strip? Another strawberry mojito Pressed against your lip Well I keep sucking on mine Like I was biding my time Okay, so let's try this with the, with the I'll, I'll start the click and then I'll shut it off, will I? For me it feels like a long road and there's been points on the road where I've been thinking wow this was exactly the right thing to do and it's particularly to do with working with Tony. Although we're really different he occupies a similar ground in terms of his attitude to what's now. He's kind of like uh, just ignore that crap and I kind of feel like, like that's a kind of underlying feeling that I have. Cool. You think? No. You get your hair it? What do you think? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, it's cool. But it's not Calypso. It's definitely not Calypso. Well, that's the thing about Calypso, isn't it? This is what's going to happen. Have you heard Stanley Prince Calypso songs? No. No, that's a big one. Check these guys out. The bit of this kind of stuff. Watch this man. Have your symbols like that. <laughs> What's that one do? Comes another drummer. Aye, aye. No one stop. Stop under pain of death. I'm a homeboy, I guess. I'm not. I'm not a wandering fraggle. But I do sometimes, as part of my work, find myself. Uh, you know, behaving like a wandering fraggle and going away. And I quite find that kind of like the transience of travelling encourages a kind of reflective period. I think that those sort of doubts and reflections are really deeply in these songs. And particularly um, the time that I spent in America ostensibly playing music. Like somehow, some bewildering experiences that have happened to me have crystallised in this music that we're hearing. And it's the same when I listen to music, because I'm kind of aware of that. I kind of listen to it with that knowledge. I hear my heart like a backbeat, like something incomplete, no midnight choir, no love over. Well, Ben and Shane, catch me if you can. can. Pop, pop was up. Are these the other songs you recorded? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just rough. I'm awful frisky for a man of 50. Catch me if you can, my name is Dan, sure I'm your man. You love that, don't you? That's your song. Yeah.
Some sort of like Sleep place of worship. Yeah. This this is a very kind of religious place. And in the morning. Which of course we are. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't do to do. Sometimes it doesn't do. I feel like I really tested myself with this record and um, doing that was quite frightening I guess but when I'm standing there listening to what's happened as a result of it I think um, it's the only way to to break through a self-imposed cosy comfort zone but, but we all kind of try and stay inside so Musically, it's put me into a different place, but like emotionally and in my mind, it's put me in a really different place. So I feel like if a studio burnt down, this is, I hope this isn't gonna happen because we record it, because it will be finished tomorrow. But if the studio burnt down and the masters were lost, I would still feel like, I, well, I'd be upset, but I'd be, I feel like there's something happened apart from the music in here with me which is kind of really unexpected. If that is all you learn You get your fingers burned Look at your fingers Every song on this record is like a song of like defiance and I hope, hopefully hope. So like it's a really, I think it's a really up record. Now tell me we are not all 